D Denise. Oh, hey. Hi. Yeah, it's so great to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good to see you. Hey, is, is, is that the top I gave you? It looks great. It really does. Well, I should get going. Oh, by the way, I'm still good to babysit on Friday if you need me. You I... sure you don't mind? Oh, no, 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 I'd love to. It gives me something to do these days since Richie and I are on the outs. Yeah, uh, well, hmm. time heals all wounds. Uh -huh. So you should be totally fine by now. Well, I'm just happy you're dating again instead of running back to that old Charlie. Yeah, dating. Nothing serious, no matter what you may hear. By the way, uh, I found a great guy for you. Do you like musicians? No. No, God, no, no. Oh, I'd never okay. date a musician. I mean, oh my God, they're usually dirty and don't shower. I'd never date a musician, ever. Hey, I didn't know you use active sport body spray. I do. Really? Neil Patrick Harris got me addicted to the stuff when we shot Starship Troopers. Oh. Well, <laughs> see ya. Wait a second. Men's shaving gel? Malt liquor? Blueberry toaster strudels? I've only known one person in the world who eats these. Well, now you know too, because they're my favorite. Oh, really? What do you love about them? That they come with sprinkle packets? That's just one of the things I love about blueberry stru... toaster blue... those things. Aha! Gotcha! There are no sprinkle packets. These strudels come pre-sprinkled. You're shopping for Richie, aren't you? Aren't you? Okay, I can't take it anymore, all this constant badgering. I admit it, but it's not what you think. He emailed me from his European tour and asked if I would send him some things. He can't get there. Oh. I'm sure he would have asked you, but, well, oh. you know? Oh. Oh, that makes total sense. Oh. Sorry, you know, I can't believe I thought you were dating Richie. Please. I'd have to be a real heartless What's this? Heartless bitch Denise Richards is dating Heather Locklear's ex? Uh, Heather doesn't know yet? Crap. You want to explain this one? Huh? Okay, here it is. We're madly in love and we'll probably get married soon. <gasps> and I know what you're thinking and the answer is yes. It does feel great to finally get it off my chest. Why you? <laughs> Do something like that to you. You're a liar, Heather. You made out with Charlie last time. Oh, come on. Those were characters we were playing on Spin City, you idiot. I told you, I don't buy that story. And I've always been good to you. Your first day on Melrose Place, I showed you all around that set. Like I needed you for that. It's just a pool and a building. Listen, you want to play the sweet bad girl instead of a moron for a change, you go right ahead. But I'm really old, and I've been playing it since before you were born, honey, and I'll be playing it long after you're dead. Maybe by then you'll have broken into film. I do television by choice. Not even Scott Bayo does television by choice. <laughs> Star Valence from the creator of Celebrity Deathmatch, coming in January.